Hi there. In my opinion, every math and science student should have their own copy of Pascal's Triangle typed up. I'm going to show you how to do one in Excel using mainly copy and paste. To start with, we're going to highlight a fairly big section, say from A over to AA, and down about 20 or 23 rows. And then we're going to go ahead and mark uh, the grid, the border lines like this, uh, just to make it a little bit easier to see. Then we want to turn it into a sheet of graph paper that is equally wide as it is high. So you're going to go to view, you're going to choose um, page layout, and then you're going to change the, the view to page layout, as you can see over here. And that will give you that something that looks like this. Then you're going to choose format. And then you're going to choose row height under format, row height. And you're going to look at this little box and you're just going to make a note of what it says here. You're not going to change it, just make a note. I think you can see where I'm going with this. And then you're going to highlight your 20 plus rows over to Z or AA. And now you're going to go to um, format column width. And this time you're going to change it to whatever you noted from the last time. And just be careful that you don't overtype the uh, units. And now you have your very own graph paper. And you can change the view back to normal and go to the home tab. So that's step one. And it's a little bit unnecessary, but I think you'll find it useful as we go through the following steps. See you next time.